February 8th, Comet 12P update. And I got some updates today. The comet is still in Cygnus constellation, heading towards La Cerda, which is the lizard, and then approaching Andromeda. So it's still in Cygnus from Jerusalem, as always. And I got some, some interesting photos, images to show. But before we get there, coma diameter is now at 490, 100,000 kilometers, almost one third the size of the sun. Here's a quick recap on the path of travel. On March 1st, it'll be heading into Andromeda, and then we got Pisces, and then on April 1st by Aries, and then it hits on Passover, right before Passover, I don't know the date here, probably the 17th, the mouth of the whale, and on the 21st, the Passover in the constellation Taurus. So that's the, the path it's gonna take. It gets closer and closer to Earth. As many of us know, on April 8th, during the Great American Total Eclipse, it'll be right by the Aries constellation. So much about the Aries constellation during the crucifixion, during the eclipse, at 3 o'clock p.m. did a video on that on the star of Bethlehem that's when the eclipse occurs on the 8th but also to take note on the 21st well it's going to be by the whale maybe the 17th and the 21st for sure in the Taurus constellation pat the beginning of Passover so there's a lot of signs here hidden signs showing something from God creator to me this is a sign so many other signs being discovered too as it passes through the united states nineveh uh, i found that uh be very enlightening join us more signs i'll get more information on that there's videos out there i just don't have it here right now let me continue on what i have so far now on february 6th michael took this image and you, as you can see it kind of has a aqua like the miami dolphin color and here's the coma diameter that i spoke about the numbers this is the coma diameter right here and here's the tail and you can see the tail now showing itself it kind of has a like a bluish uh, color here which is expelling water ion gases being expelled going on space weather real-time comet see what we see here see jose over here in spain he puts out some real great images take a closer look at the beauty of that you can see the tail there and you can see a little bit of distortion the last the, the seventh outburst i had was on january 18th so it's due for another outburst the baa british astronomical association prediction is right should have another outburst kind of like overdue should have had it on what the third or the sixth this month so who knows maybe it'll have another one soon now this one comes from michael too february 6th it uh shows the rotation the rotation of it uh, you can see the the outer shell right here where the pointer's at looking over here got my attention i don't know if that's the camera but uh let's see one two three four five six, six jets might be more fantastic image michael always puts out great images everybody knows that let's look let's look at some data the last solution day that I covered was on January 5th, a uh, month ago, and it was at 6,077. Before I check the new numbers, let's go back to July 29th. It was only 1,440. So let's check out. Okay, the new one, February 1st, six, it's up to 6,574 observation. And we check the orbit. Okay, this is today. That's the distance from the Earth. 1.851 AU on February 8th. And this is to see if anything's changed. Okay, still going in between the orbital plane of Venus and Earth. Take a closer look. See if it changed. It changed a little bit. Okay, so with the tail shooting in this. Here's the sun. So the ion gas tail, it'll be shooting in this direction. So when it gets to our, our orbital plane on the 8th, I think it is it'll be this direction and earth probably be over here where mars is at i'll have more update on that information so according to this on april 10th it'll be lined up with our orbital plane 10th let's give it one more day okay the 11th so april 11th there's 12p right here here's earth let's take line it up as perfectly we can to the orbital plane okay so there's lined up with the sun orbital plane of earth on april 11th remember the 21st is passover that's the closest it gets to the sun still got it at a 4.3 they haven't changed it so we don't know how far that tail or if any more fragmentation will occur and also the only alignment i see is with the uh, mercury 
okay on april 8th during the eclipse this is where it'll be on the left hand side of earth so when that eclipse happen depending if how 12p behaves reacts or it is and what kind of display is going to show it should be visible while we're watching the the eclipse i can't pronounce his name i, I say peter uh, I, if i try to pronounce his name i'll murder it from belgium put great data and this was on february 1st and let's take a look let's take a closer look here's the false colors okay here you, you could definitely see a, def a tail and right here i said the it's due for another outburst i don't see i don't know what that is not the stars because here's the star movements so maybe it's just a smudge on the camera or a bug or something else and let's take a look over here looks normal to me okay popping real quick to the british astronomical association the one with the projected outburst uh let's see what, if they have anything to say okay right here number two uh look let's look real quick okay they say it could reach a second magnitude the last outburst was on the 18th possibly suggesting that an earlier event were actually a uh, periodic we should have another outburst pretty soon let's check out the light curve okay that's the last one was on the 18th right here and right here on february 1st uh pretty hard to tell if it had one but it should it should have another outburst pretty soon i would think so that, there we have it i mean there's more more to come as it gets closer and closer and closer right now it's the brightest object in the sky at a 7.5 this is today's up update and we got 62 p fading away at 9.5 and we got another one coming that's gonna be it's gonna be something this one right here a3 that won't be till uh, october i think so we have a lot of we got a lot of visitors out there a lot of comets in the sky this one's in first place now 12 p is officially in first place unless one shows up by surprise and you never know it could happen this has it's happened before uh out of nowhere one pops up so that's all i have for now please give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification help me get the help me get to a thousand subscribers so i could save time and effort i would like to get some software it's an upgrade to this to my my site here because the next couple months i said by march next month interest is going to grow as this thing gets brighter and brighter and bigger and bigger then all of a sudden there's going to be a flood of seekers information about this comet and its effects prior effects from the past as i pointed out in my other 25 26 videos i've done already on it you know volcanic earthquakes and who knows it's affecting the schumann residents also I had an episode uh what's it last week i think it was and i'll get more into that one on this video here where stefan explains it perfectly and how this is affecting affected a lot of things on the micro level on all levels and i was gonna do a video on this but uh boy am i going through some shit so i'll try to get back do a video on this and, and offer my opinion all this is just my opinion doing the best i can if i could connect one percent or make sense of one percent or provide something i feel i do i'm doing my job so till next time still alive still kicking still gonna be putting them out guys it's gonna get better the show time is gonna get better in, in in march and april especially oh my god april it's gonna be something else okay let me cut this video out and until next time